previously on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Napa Sapphire. Here we are, which is a psychic- whoa, 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 what's slow? Okay. Obviously we levitated for some reason. Ah, nice. It changes the thing. Alright, let's get levitated. Because we're basically being hauled up like this for some reason. Which is kind of cool. I mean, it is a Psychotype gym. Alright. Whoa. Okay. Let's do this. Whoa. Let's go. Alright guys, I already know the perfect- Oh, there's one more trainer. Oh, okay. It's, he's not- Oh, we already battled him. Alright you guys. Here comes the two trainers that we are going to be battling. And remember what I said in the previous video? What not to do? I'm about to show you. If you try doing this in the game, this is what's going to happen. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. You basically just killed your Pokemon. So instead of using Pikachu and Flo, we are going to use Duskock and Beautify because they will have an advantage over these. Even though these guys are part rock, they are also part psychic. And you know what happens to Psychics? They get bug buzzed. We're gonna wreck their uh, team, their combination. Well, this gym was pretty easy, despite what happened in the anime. Ah, uh, ah, uh, teamwork. Yep, you get, you kids got wrecked. It can't be helped. You won. So take this in recognition. And we get ourselves the. I forgot what badge this is. Uh, what was it again? Okay, the mind badge. Later, twins. I have to- Alright, I forgot. We have to use this teleporter thing. Alright. Whoa! What the? What's going on? What? A pillar of ice uh, appeared from the sea? The direction? Is that the direction of Route 128? Whoa, dude! Seriously, dude! <laughs> this is the end of the world! Kitty, don't worry, calm down! Aw, poor Skitty. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa, that was like a total shocker. What the heck was that? That big fat pillar of light! It totally came out of here, didn't it? May! I heard from little Lisa and Tate that you visit their gym. I was thinking of trying to capture you while you were in the area, but then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Okay. Wait, where is this place anyways? Oh. Okay. Ah, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. Now where to begin? Let us take a moment to understand what is happening to our world right now. That rumbling sound that shook the earth just now. The eardrum rupturing explosion we heard. They are a proof that the uh, seal, which has long hidden deep undersea, has been underdone at last. The super ancient Pokemon that has been sealed deep beneath Route 128 since ancient times. It slept until now in the seafloor cavern. The entrance to that cavern was sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, and all in an effort to keep any human or Pokemon from ever reaching it. But now it appears that the scheming of that terrible team has underdone the seal. There is no doubt that they intend to revive the super ancient Pokemon, and once they do so, it seems they hope to make its power their own. May, if that team obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it will upset the balance of nature in this world. Oh no. A crisis unlike any other before it will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to deploy this situation. That is my duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That is why I am asking for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. Lend me your strength to help out a halt to these teams' mad ambitions. With you and I and our Pokemon all working together, we will overcome this disastrous turn of events. I don't think it is out of the question. 
I will entrust you with this. Alright, so that's where we get our HM. Oh, great. Looks like I need to teach Azumarill this. If you use Dive, you will be able to dive to the ocean floor with your Pokemon. I take this so you can stay with your Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. Ah, oh, the Devon Scuba Gear. Well, looks like I won't have to hold my breath like I did back in Black and White and Black and White 2, even though he wasn't on video. But still. If you were to use Dive in the correct stretch of water along Route 128, I believe you should be able to reach the entrance to the C4 Cavern. I will join you when I finish my duties. Please do what you can to stop Team Aqua and Team Madman until then. I am trusting you to do this for me. Okay. Let's go. Alright, somewhere around Route 128, there's something going on, you guys. Get ready for a long video, you guys. This is gonna get intense. But first things first, I need to get a zoom row. Alright, those box, you were pretty good, but you need to go out. And I need Skitty. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, gang. Time to stop Team Aqua and Team Magma. Let's go. Alright, wasn't I supposed to, like, teach uh, Zumerald dives? I mean, I don't know if any of my other Pokemon that I have on my PC or actually know it, but... Oh, well. Let's see. Alright. Okay, in black and... Alright, in my white and white two games that I was playing, um... I did get the water Pokemon to learn dive for this little abyssal rune there, and I had to like pretend I hold my breath, uh, like I was actually in there and I was holding my breath and all that. But now that we have the Super Gear and Omega Ruby, I have a Sapphire. I guess I don't need to do that. Seriously, you guys, you have no idea. I am kind of weird. All right, let's go. Let's go. Route 127. We don't have time to battle trainers because we are on a mission. And if any wild Pokemon show up, don't worry, I will cut them off from here on out. Alright. Well, maybe we can go down right now. Alright. <clears throat> Let's hold our breath. Psych, I have the scuba gear. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, there's even divers in this game. Actually, this is a good way to, like, escape from others. Whoa! You can actually get Pokemon from here? All right. All right. I think this might be it. This is a good way to escape from wild Pokemon, actually. All right. Let's hope this is it. <coughs> <coughs> All right. This is it, you guys. We're headed over. Looks like there's a cave. Let's go in. All right. Oh, uh, no, don't tell me this is a puzzle. Alright. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to use the an area now to see what Pokemon you can get in this game. So, yeah, after we defeat the Skullbat. Flame door. See ya. Alright, so my Pokemon are pretty much going to be leveling up all that stuff. Because I do like to... Oh! It's just... Golbats and Zubats. Yep, I'm cutting the pieces off during the battles. Alright. Okay. Well, it looks like I'll be cutting some battles pieces off and looks like we're gonna have to use some strength. Alright. Where's my TM? HM. I'm pretty sure, like, some of the- Oh, wow. Is it my connection on strength? Huh. But you know what? I'm gonna do it on Pikachu because it's time I get rid of Slam, guys. Slam is a useless move. Like, at least in accuracy, it's useless. So, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Slam here. Alright, I could, like, use other Pokemon for my PC, but I don't really have time for that. Alright, hopefully no wild Pokemon come up. If they do, I will be cutting the pieces off while I battle them, and yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's battle these Grunts. I have no use for children. Crunch, get out of here! No! Back off! Back off, you grunt! With your numble. Come back again? You know what to do.
You stay uppercut. Nice. Yeah. All right, next, my Tiana. Good for you, fly. Let's go. Hey, bug bug. I want to go home. Yeah, you wish you can go home. In the end, I was just an opponent for a kid in a Pokemon battle. All right, let's switch. To be to fly. All right. Let's see what this grunt has to do. The submarine is so small and cramped that it makes your body hurt, but I don't mind it. Yeah? Do you mind losing in a battle? Because I'm about to wreck your team. Unless it's a gold back. Oh, jeez. Hopefully, beautiful. I can take this. I mean, she should be fine, right? Alright. Air cutter. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, my gosh. That's actually a lot. <coughs> But good thing it's not enough to take down my beautifly, because I am over level. Good thing too. It hurts when you lose. I don't mind that either though. Oh. Well, I guess that answered my question. Fighting submarine we stole is the best. It's just wonderful that it's so cramped. Okay, obviously you don't like whoa, what's in here? Now right, here comes this girl. Hey, hey, hey! Fighting Anna has helped in spotting a fish part person. Uh, what do you mean, standing out? Like, what is that supposed to mean? Oh, jeez, not a number. Well, at least it's part ground, that way I can get beautiful to suck its health. Go get him. Thanks for your health. Nothing at all to do with winning Pokemon battles. It sure doesn't. You should just keep going straight. But I'm sure I'm sure it'll be a Riot. <laughs> Fine. Alright, here we go. Okay. I pretty much know like I snuck in the game, right? Like I snuck into this without saving. And I pretty much know my way around, but I do want to look around a little bit to see what items we're gonna get. Cause I'm not coming back after this, you guys. I'm just not. Okay, obviously we just basically push that out of the way, so, and we can't go there. Alright, let's see what's in here. <clears throat> ah, jeez! What annoying kid to fall to the bottom of the ocean. That all ends now, though. Oh, no, it doesn't. What do you got? Weaving? Oh, jeez. Great, I can't, I can't suck his health. Alright, hopefully Beautifly, Beautifly gets, alright. Oh, no. Hey, let's try this again. Don't miss. Oh, uh, really? By one HP? Okay, good thing we missed. Or good thing that we even missed. Now I know it's my pain. Come on, guys. It's like one HP. What's the worst that could happen through that? Nice. What an annoying even the way you fight is just oozing with the obnoxiousness. I don't know what that means, but okay. It doesn't matter how hard you try anyway. By now Lee or Maxi is <laughs> Uh I don't like the sound of that, you guys. Wait, are you actually almost there? Cause there's another way you can actually get Lee to in here. Oh wow. Oh, nope, it's the same thing. Wait, what? Yeah, this is the same thing. Oh, jeez, here comes the cutoff. All right, let's keep going. 
Alright, obviously this is a puzzle, sort of. Let's see where this takes us. That's not it. Hmm. Trying to figure this out, you guys. Alright, there it is. Alright, let's keep going. Oh my gosh. More boulders. Hi, Pikachu, you know what to do. Ugh. 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 There's another cave down there. I do. Who are you? How'd you get in here? Why do you want to know, anyways? You and your little Mikey and a. Bad matchup, especially when I have Skitty. Mm. All right, here comes my secret move. Play rough. Took it down. All right, that's weaving. That's fine. All right, assist. Okay. Obviously not very good, but still a double head. Ugh. All right, you use double hit. I'm gonna use double slap. All right, nice. Now, last resort. Let's go. All right. Never underestimate the power of a skitty. That was a total and complete loss. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I don't know where the exit is. I'm not scared, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh, actually, we're getting close. Oh, right. I forgot. We already did it. All right. Let's go. Just wanted to... Oh, gosh. This. All right. If I remember correctly, we have to push these two boulders aside. All right, let's see, um, how did I do this last time? I think it was a little something like this. Sort of. Mm. Let's see, I think I may have messed up. Hold up. Mm. Trying to thank you guys. Um. Mm. Oh, no, I remember. There we go. Maybe not. Oh, gosh. Oh. There we go. I told you guys I got this down. All right, let's do this. Oh, come on. Right when, the, right when we got through. Okay, I thought we were almost there. We're almost there, you guys. For real. All right. Whoa. I forgot about this maze. Uh, almost there, you guys. And you can feel it. There it is. After this. Alright. What's this? Earthquake? Alright. Alright, guys. Here we go. This is it. Ugh! <laughs> How pathetic you appear now, the full Archie. Uh, uh, not to see you. <laughs> Just as I predicted. Little skip. Even I, the great Maxi, have found myself wishing for something I cannot justify. Any illogical desire that I harbored was to have you present here at this moment. <laughs> and now that full foolish has come through. Fantastic. Nothing could please me more. I suppose I should make introductions. I present to you my incomparable partner who will assist Team Magma in driving humanity forward to next next level. The Super Ancient Pokemon Grudon! Behold, this great form slumbering in defiance of even the boarding lava surrounding it. 
so long have I waited for this day. Immeasurably long, this foolish world has held back humanity's progress out of misguided idealism regarding the coexistence of humans and Pokemon. But this ancient creature can bring that to its rightful end, creating a new land upon which humanity may stride freely forward. Now that I have at last obtained the power of Primal Gruron, and now you are the final obstacle remaining me between me and my goals, it behooves me to use every tool at my disposal to eliminate you. Indeed, even Mega Evolution. Do not delude yourself that you and your Pokemon are the only ones capable of it. I must apologize for making you wait through our encounters at Mount Chimney and Mount Pyder without treating you to this sight. Brace yourself for my ultimate attack! <laughs> Alright, Maxie, come here. Alright, I already know what his Mega Evolution is going to be. <coughs> Alright, Skitty. Good thing I'm leading off with this and against my Tiana. Know why? It's play rough time. Ugh, so close. Scare face me all you want. That's not gonna help. Play rough. Oh, you're tempting me, huh? You tempting me to brutally kill you? Fine. Get out of here. Nice. Alright, what's next? Wheezing? Alright, we'll switch. Let's go to Combustion. Alright, use flamethrower! One shot. Alright, Crobat, keep battling, we're good. Playing for again! Alright, here we go, you guys! The real battle starts! And I have the perfect Pokemon for this! Altaria, let's go! Alright, here we go! You're about to see some Mega Evolution time! Beyond Evolution! Mega Evolve! Alright, here we go! Maxi's turn! I knew it! This battle is about to get intense! Dragon Pulse! Ugh, it's so- it, hold on! Good thing my military is not part flying anymore. Now! Use round! See ya. Ah! <sighs> You've really done it, child! you showed a power that exceeds that of the great Maxi! <laughs> splendid! Just splendid, my young trainer! No, it's more than that. I should be calling you my young hero. What do you mean? Believing until the very end that a world where humanity and Pokemon coexist must be the best. Rejecting my ideals without a second thought. Yes. Watching a struggle desperately to halt the beginning of the world's end, you are undoubtedly a hero. So noble. And yet, I will not yield. I will not bend. My ideals will not be shaken. My dream for the world's next step forward will never change. I will use the Red Orb to awaken Gluron, revert it to its primal form, and put an end to all else. Wait, Maxi! Ugh, Tabitha! Do stop that now, please! Maxi, you just don't understand! 
but Gruden will bring about upon awakening is into the world. Hmm. Did you think I had not noticed that I somehow failed to realize you were after my spot? Such a sad development indeed to be betrayed by my number two. In the end, there is only one being upon which I can depend. Now, Gruden, absorb all the power of resting in this red orb and reclaim yourself. Revert it to your primal form. This is the time to take back the great evolution you lost in the ancient past, but reclaim the possibility you once held. Ah! Uh, uh, you! Don't do it. He's gonna do it. Okay, why is May just standing there? She could just tackle Maxi right now and just stop him. Oh no, here it goes. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is huge. <coughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> at last! At last! i finally done it! A new world for human evolution would be born! We shall stride forward! Oh, what have you done? Boss! What? Huh? A message from our members outside. What is it? So, the sun has turned mercilessly fierce in this heat. I should expect so. That is what I have long- No. What we have long wished for. What? The heat is greater than simulation predicted? It will be a risk to our own safety if it continues? That cannot be. It has only just awoken. Where is it getting so much power from? And how much more will it gain when it does undergo primal reversion? C continue or ease. The report back. Boss. Maxi. Just what's happening on the surface? All that matters is... That I have used the red orb to wake and root on. And now I will transform this planet to a land ideal for humanity. Hey, Maxi, looks like we underestimated the power of the super ancient Pokemon. The power of primal reversion? What? Did you say? Primal Grudon brings about an end, alright, but you don't get to choose what end. It's gonna die, drive every living thing on this planet to a death. Meaning you messed up, Maxi. The only thing waiting for us is despair. A despair we can even run from. A despair that's gonna crush humanity. You blasted fool! And it's all happening because you were cocky enough to think you could control the super ancient Pokemon's power. So the information received from the Weather Institute was true. Boss Maxi, we'll never get anywhere just standing around here like this. There isn't a moment to spare. We must confirm the situation on the outside. Child, you're coming to you. Hurry up. Okay. Oh my gosh, it is so hot out there. This, this is not, what? I, I wanted, I wanted to make, it was supposed to be a world where the human race would attain new heights. The next stage of our development it is all to humanity's future. Boss, Maxi. So this is the power of the super ancient Pokemon. This is how Grudon brings everything to an end. All of us people in Pokemon, everything living on this planet, everything's gonna die. Okay, little scamp, we're setting sail for Stupidopolis. That blasted Grudon is no doubt gonna get there ahead of us. 
They'll be waiting for us deep in the cave of religion. There in Streetopolis. There's a pool of energy there that folks say is needed for primal reversion. There's no doubt in my mind that Guron will be racing through that cave, thirsting for that power. We've got no choice but to go ourselves. We gotta do whatever we can to fight back. Alright, Maxi. You team magma bliders better come with us. We're responsible for this mess. This ridiculous, impossible mess. It only makes sense for us all to step up and clean up after ourselves. Agreed? <sighs> Let's go, boss Maxi. Wait, aren't you gonna take me with you? Hey, little skip. Look, I'm supposed to be a grown up, right? So let me say sorry for the way this has gone down. And I'm sorry because I've got to ask you to pitch in with a cleanup. We need every hand on deck if we're going to do something about this mess. So I'll be waiting for you and you top us. Wait! Wait, I don't even know where that is! Huh? Huh? It's even. Hey, I'm sorry I could not be here sooner. Terrible. So, this is what was being depicted at a painting in Granite Cave. If this doesn't stop, all ho and no, the entire world will burn up. Nothing could live in such a land of death, neither Pokemon nor humans. This dreadful blaze. It must be caused by the sweltering heat wave warming above Spartopolis. Come on, Steven. Think. What are you going to do? No. There's no point in agonizing over the situation from here. I have to go to Superopolis. There must be answers there. May, I will count on you to help with the crisis. But please, promise you won't do anything reckless. Well then, I'll go ahead and just go to Superopolis. Good luck to you. Wait, aren't you going to take me with you? Wow, what a way to leave May behind. Good job, Game Freak. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Or do I? Alright, I pretty much know where to go. I remember sneaking into this without saving, so if I remember correctly, we have to go here. Alright, first I want to, I don't want really much encounters here. <clears throat> Those guys. Alright, see where I can go. Okay, obviously that's a dead end. Well, that was a bad idea. <coughs> <coughs> Man, I did not want to encounter wild Pokemon, but oh well. At least I'll be cutting it off during the videos while training. Alright. Who's next? Let's go. 129. I don't know where I'm going, but at least we're... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna die. Oh, wow, there's even patches of grass in here. Alright, let's see if we can make our way over. Okay, we're 130. We should be almost there, hopefully. I wonder if it's possible you can actually have wild battles in this game. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what's out here. That's basically. Wait, is this it? Uh, is this it? Secret meadow. What is this? I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. Well, I went the wrong way. Alright, let's go back. That sucks. Oh man, you there are wild encounters in here. Alright, let's keep going. Where am I supposed to go anyways? Oh gosh, better not go there. Okay, that's a dead end. Alright. Go back up. Alright. Almost there. Hmm. Let's 
through 131. I think I went too far there. Trying to figure this out, you guys. If I remember correctly, we have to go a little bit more up to the surface. That's not where I was supposed to go. That's not where I'm supposed to go. Where am I? Oh, come on! I'm in the middle of a mission. I don't have time for this. Dude, I don't want to battle you. All right, let's make this quick. <laughs> All right, thunderbolted. I'm not even going to read this dialogue, actually. Look, I need to get through. Hey, right, where are we? That is not... That's a dead end. No, I don't have time for that. All right, come on. Oh, come on! Why do you guys make such a big deal about swimsuits? They're always staring. Um, listen. Do you realize that the sun is extremely hot today and the world is probably going to die? Obviously not, you just want to battle. Uh, I swear. I do not have time for this. Got you. I'm out of my death. Yeah, and you're about to be out of your life as soon as uh, possible because the world is about to end. And obviously, all you care about is battles. Where am I? Alright, let's dive. This is a good way to avoid battles, actually. Alright. See if we can go a little bit over to... That's not where it is. Well, actually, it might be. Let's try it. Alright. Let's go in. I'm trying to figure this out, you guys. Wait, what? All this time? Really? Uh, this is not good. Okay, obviously I can't remember where I will ask went. And this is why I need directions. Are you serious right now? Okay. Well, obviously we have to go here then. Alright, let's see if we can make our way back. I don't know where I'm going anymore. I thought I knew where I was going, but I don't. Mostly because this is my first time playing this game. Oh no, nope, nope. I'd rather go off the surface. Forget it. This is going to take a while for me to figure it out. Okay, obviously there's some fishermen. I don't really care about them right now. Wait, is this the same way we came from? Yep, it's the same way we came from. You know what? Forget it. <sighs> Let's keep going. Alright, where am I supposed to be? Okay, uh, obviously over there. Hmm... Alright, I think we should go over here instead, then. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. I think this is it. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to dive under here. In order to get to our destination. <clears throat> Good thing I didn't save. Otherwise, I wouldn't show you guys how to do this, even though you guys have probably played this before, but still. 
Right. Ah, bingo! I knew I'd find my way around eventually. All right, here we are. So, Topolis City. It's not underground. It's actually up here. Whew, that was close. All right. At the gym. Where's the other stuff? All right. Obviously, there's uh, the Pokemon Center around here somewhere. I see a Pokemart, so there has to be one somewhere. Uh, okay, I think that's Steven right over there, but I'm looking for the Pokemon Center. Okay, obviously I can't find one, mostly because it's hot out here, and yeah. Alright, let's go, let's go see what uh, Steven is. Oh, gosh. I think I may have went the wrong way. Hold up. I'm not very good at directions. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a the center. Oh, let's go. Now, how are we supposed to go through the air? Um, that's not it. No, that's not it. Oh, gosh, I made a mistake. Uh, hold up a sec. Hold up. Might be. Nope. Hold up. I am trying to know my place, okay? Alright. Let's go again. No one cares about the searches right now. Where am I supposed to go? Like, I know, like, we're here right now, but seriously, where are we? Oh, gosh, this is a maze. Oh, duh, right there. Hey, Steven. Hey, so you did come. I've been waiting for you. A terrible heat. It feels as though the entire world would be burned away. Ah, yes, you need to hear what my friend has to say. My name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. The strat is being caused by a power and made any from the Cave of Origin. That is the blue orb. I see. Follow me. The sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live. So why does the sunlight fill us with so much dread? The blazing sun over Sutobolus is growing even more intense. Soon all of the Hoenn will be caught under its withering glare. If that were to happen. Oh no. Alright, there they are, Team Magma and Team Aqua. Guess that's what we're meeting. Team Magma and Team Aqua. We've been waiting, you scamp. Leader Maxi, to that child. I know what must be done. I will entrust this to you now. It is the fruit of our collaboration with the Devon Corporation, and it represents the height of Poland's technological knowledge and skills. Oh, the magma suit. So this is what it's used for. We have actually been preparing that in the expectation of making contact with Grudon. But at this point, it doesn't look like there's any hope of that for us. There's nothing we can do that we accept and leave it to you. And yet, even with the magma suit, it's probable that anyone could pass through that magma. Now fiercer than ever due to the forces of nature. That's true. It is very possible that its energy could be far greater than our calculations show. There is nothing to fear. The blue orb she bears. Its ancient powers will protect both the girl and her Pokemon. 
You've hit the nail on the head. Those old folks at my pirate did say something about that. That the Red Orb would unleash Grudon's prime powers and trigger a primal reversion. While the Blue Orb had the power to reverse that and calm the beast. <coughs> yes, the energy overflowing from the cave of Origin to now. It is the same energy that gives Grudon its power. With the Blue Orb, which contains the power to suppress that. It should be possible to calm the rage of this flood of magma. Of course, the Blue Orb's power alone will not lead you to where Grudon waits. You will not reach Hoenn's core that way. Use the suit that you were just given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. May, do you think that you have the Blue Orb? You'll be okay. You know Pokemon can handle it, whatever happens. I believe that. No man or woman from Zootopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin, but you must go, together with your blue orb. You must go, regardless of what awaits you inside that cave. We'll also get our people uh, together up top here to help any folks in Pokemon in trouble. My little scamp of the savior. Looks like we were making you bear all the burden on your little shoulders alone. I'm sorry for that. But I know you're going to see this through. Child, you. No. I have no right to call you child. Fellow trainer, I have caused great harm, and for that I apologize most sincerely. But now we find ourselves at an impasse, and you and your Pokemon are all that and humanity has to count on this stand against Gudoran. The fate of our world, the world upon which all humanity thrives, the fate of our world rests in your hands. Okay. Brendan? What are you doing here? Hey! When I saw the news about Zootopolis on BuzzNav, and there you were, May. Anyway, all I could think of was coming here to help. You don't know how glad I am to see that you're still in one piece. Well, blah. Is that Team Magma and Team Agua? Okay, I don't really know what to say right now, but I'm kind of dumbfounded. Look, I get that this is probably something way bigger than I've ever imagined. So I won't bother with any questions now. I'm going to find out what I should do to help, and then I'm going to do whatever I can. You better do the same, May. I'll always be right there behind you. You're my best friend, after all. That was kind of touching a little bit. Alright, we're going in. I don't know if there's any Pokemon. Actually, there actually is. That's just what I would say if it was my first uh, reaction, so... There might be some Pokemon around here, so I'm going to cut some pieces off and train here for Grudon. Alright, let's go. Ah, jeez, right now! I was going to wait until we actually get down the stairs to cut the pieces off, but I guess we had to do it now. Alright, let's go. Oh, come on! Ugh! Put on. No one cares about that. <gasps> oh my gosh, there it is. I hear it. Why are you getting closer, you guys? I can feel it. <sighs> Put on. Hang in there. <sighs> Okay, that's not where we're supposed to go. Yep, that's where we're supposed to go. Okay. <clears throat> we're getting closer. Oh my gosh, there it is. Alright. Train's done. Let's go. This is it. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, there it is. Huh? What's this? Good Amy. It is I, the great Maxi. 
A device built into that suit you'll have joined allows me to talk to you. We have received the readings from your suit. They suggest that Gridon has appeared. Is my position correct? Does it stand before you now? Yeah, it does. Oh. You must listen. Do not waste even a single second. Leap up on Gridon's mighty back. Then we take you to the... To the... To the... Maxi? Hello? Sound cut out. Ah, jeez. Well, here we go. Guess that magma suit is working. Oh. Okay, imagine if Mei falls off by accident and she lands in the lava. Would she still be alive even with that magma suit? Or, I don't know. I may be asking a stupid question here. <clears throat> here we go. Yep, it would have been better if I had Alpha Sapphire. Oh, gosh, everything's cut off here. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, here we go, you guys. There it is. Alright, I already figured out what ball to use on the screwed on. So, guys, this is it. Alright, I'm gonna save just in case. Alright, just in case we don't catch it in the ball that I want it. We'll save, and yeah, let's do this. Alright, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, the intense music here. I can feel it. Here we go. Now I gotta admit, this is actually pretty cool, you guys. That we're about to like fight this giant here. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh, this looks so cool. Whoa. Obviously, that Groudon could actually be a fire type, but for some reason, Game Freak wanted it to be a ground type. I mean, seriously, this looks like a fire type instead of a ground type. I guess that may be another reason why I, want, I prefer Alpha Sapphire. But oh well, we're catching Grudon. Beautifully, I choose you! Let's do this. Alright. Let's hopefully we don't kill it. You just get a good drain. Oh yeah, it is part firing ground. Okay, you can rest all you want. Well, at least they change it up a little bit. Alright. Whatever you do, do not kill it. Alright. So far so good. Don't kill, don't kill. Okay. Alright. It's in the red. Let's see if we can catch it. I I want to choose this ball for this because I think it kind of looks uh, similar to it. So, luxury ball is in the bag. And I'm not going to stop until we actually catch this. Starting now. Let's do this. <sighs> Alright, we can still catch it. I mean, if it uses rest, I'll just keep doing it until it hits the red. Although, sleeping will have a better chance. Because, well, it'll just have a better chance. Let's just put it that way. Earthquake me all you want. That's not going to work on you. Or that's not going to work on you, Beautifly. Uh, this is not going well so far, is it? <coughs> Come on. Whoa, that was quick! I expected a longer battle. Wow. Wow. That was actually that was that was surprising. <coughs> Alright, 
I do love this Pokedex little scanning right there. That is actually pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> and my carvings return. Wow, I was doing so well, and then it returns. Wow. Okay, let's see what this data has to say. Alright. Grunon is said to be the personification of the land itself. Legends tell of its many clashes against Kyogre, as each sought to gain the power of nature. Alright, no we don't. Wow, that was quick. Oh no. Ah. Oh no, here we goes. Okay, that looks pretty cool there. Wow. Everything's back to normal. This is just an amazing sight to see. May! So it's all over. May, we owe you great things. Look above you. The sky over Scotobolus has returned to normal. Somehow, it's so warm. Is the energy that had been amassed deep within the cave of region now flowing out to pour it over the greater world? His as if the uncertainty and fear from the moments ago never even existed. My heart feels it's been off, softly set at ease. The sea, or the land, Pokemon or humanity. All this time we've just been trying to grab onto happiness for one of them, even if it meant destroying the other. Look at how things have turned out now. The world's got its natural balance back. We've got to rethink this thing from the very start. We've got to redo everything we've done from scratch and get it right this time. What do you say, Maxie? I suppose. You may be right. However, personally in my case, some wrongs cannot be atoned for, no matter how you try to right them. And I have committed wrongs so great as to bring the whole world to its knees. It may be that I... It may be too much to assume that I should deserve the chance to start anything over. Leader, without a doubt, you have committed an offense that can never be forgiven. You have wronged not only Team Magma, but all living things on this planet, whether great or small. However, that is precisely why you must now set things right. You must continue to atone for the sins you have committed, even at the risk of your own life. You set right the wrongs you've done without running away in fear. Isn't that how an adult accepts responsibility? Should you find the result to do so inside yourself, then I, Team Magma Admin Tabitha, I will serve as your side as counsel forever. T Tabitha. Thank you. You know, someday we adults are going to have to hand this world off to this little scamp of the rest of our generation. But what kind of world are we adults going to make? What kind of world do we want to pass to these kids? If we haven't figured that out ourselves, we're never going to get anywhere. So are we going to make a world where everyone can coexist together? 
for, after all, is it going to be a world that we claim by force? One that we fight and squabble over? I don't know, but I think we can at least start by giving it some time and thinking it over. All of us can do that, whether we're Team Aqua or Team Magma, or whatever. You were able to use that blue orb to great effect, so I imagine you will also be able to handle this. Have Grudon on hold it and you should be able to control its play mode version for at least a short period, such as during battle. Ah, oh, we get the red orb. Nice. And that's it for me. Later, Scamp. Farewell. Team Magma and Team Aqua are made up of people with completely opposing ideals and goals. Perhaps even they can learn to meet halfway, one small contestant at a time. I know it's too much to expect that everything will change at once, but I hope this crisis might at least help them take that first vital step forward. I imagine that many changes are happening now all across Hoenn. I hope you'll be able to travel the world and see its riches with your own eyes. I reveal its newness in your own heart. But for the present, you may first wish to challenge the city's Pokemon Gym. There you will find the very same Wallace who helped us so much waiting for you. He's strong. But the way you are now, you should be capable of battling him on an equal footing. And when you travel the world, you should try to use this. This flute is one of my favorite items. I've been waiting for him to give me this since the very first day I start over the game. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this on Latios. This is going to be so cool when I do it. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, back to the story. This Eon Floop is proof of the bond between you and your Latios. No matter how far you may be from one another, play that flute and Latios will surely fly straight to you. Then it can take to the sky, soaring above the land with you astride its back. Yes, just like when we first encountered Latios and Latios at Southern Island, People, Pokemon, nature itself. Our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel I have just begun to understand that. And I'm wondering how the world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with an inexplicable excitement. May, as you and your Pokemon live and grow in this strange world, I wonder what effect it will have on you. What will you think about? What ideals will you believe in? If we do get the chance to meet again, I hope you will be able to show me and my team the answers you found. Until then, farewell, Steven. Phew. It feels like we can finally relax, huh? I guess that now, now's the time to say thanks for all you've done, May. You know, we set out from Lula Rude at the same time, but seems like you were just dashing ahead by yourself and leaving me behind. I feel like we're not even on the same level anymore, you know? It's kind of lonely thinking like that. Or it would be if I really thought that. But, well, you did do something pretty amazing, so take it easy for a while, okay, buddy? Don't worry. Later. Wow. I can't believe we caught Groot on a luxury ball that quick. I thought it was going to take longer than that. But hey, good news. Everything's back to normal. Yay! Oh my gosh, that was that was pretty good. I like how Team Magma like changed their ways and wanted to like start over. That was pretty good. It's not like any other villain teams I went through. So yeah, okay, obviously I need to find the Pokemon Center, which is on the other side, so yeah, I'll change my team pretty soon, I'll be um, doing all that, and yeah, I guess we'll be challenging the gym now that that's happened, or will we? Because actually, after this Team Magma and Team Aqua Paw was over in the anime, May does enter another contest and win, so yeah. I guess until then, I will see you guys in the next video where we will take, we will enter a contest, take on the gym leader, and then enter another contest because after the gym, that's where May gets her last ribbon. So I will see you guys then. Later.